Hey everybody, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I want to show you how to create teams and channels in Microsoft Teams. Uh, this is generally available to anyone who has the right permissions in Teams, so if you see that you can't do this and you need to, either ask uh, your Teams administrator to create a team for you or request permissions to do so yourself. Uh, creating Teams is fairly simple. You can see by default when you set up a Teams account, uh, you're either connecting to a team or creating a new one. In this case, I have my my private test one here that I've that I've created. If you want to create a new team, just go down to the bottom here in the Teams tab, go down to the bottom where it says Join or Create Team and click on that. And you'll see here, Join or Create Team. So in this case, I, the only team in my organization is one that I'm a part of. So I can't join any, but I can create one. So I'm gonna click on Create. And you can either build one from scratch or you can import uh, Office 365 groups or teams into Microsoft Teams. Uh, and so it can kind of auto-populate everything you need, like the group members and everything like that. Uh, in this case, we're going to build one from scratch. So click on that. So you can do public, private, or org-wide. So you know you can create this so that it's the sort of thing where you invite people to privately, uh, one that exists organization-wide that people can join but aren't automatically subscribed to, and one that is automatically everyone who joins your organization is placed into that particular uh, group or team. So in this case, let's go org wide and give it a name. So we're going to say non work stuff. So like, you know, you're creating a team for people to put all their personal things or fun shares in for personal stuff and after hours activities. So if you want everyone to keep their work out of the team's channel or keep their personal stuff out of the team's channel, maybe create a new one. So everyone has a, a place to play, hit create. And then Teams will take a moment here to actually create that. And you'll see here, boom, there you go. Simple as that. It adds you as the creator to the team and then gives you the option to read the FAQ to learn more about it, create additional channels, or add people to the team. And so creating channels is uh, pretty simple to do as well. You can click here to do it after you create the, uh, the team, or you can click on these little three dots on the right side of the team name there. So if you click on that, Go to add channel and you can create a new one there and also set permissions for it. So let's say funny cat photos. Uh, add a description. In this case, I think the name speaks for itself. We'll go down to privacy and you can say it's private. So this is a subgroup that you're only going to allow select members into or anyone in it can, can see the channel and join it or hide it. Um, and then just click add and it'll add that channel as well. And there you go. Pretty simple. Uh, it's meant to, to be easy to do, so anyone who has the permissions can do it. And now you can see you've got both my standard work team and the non-work stuff teams for social activities. That's it, pretty simple. All right, thanks for watching. This is Brandon Villarolo for Tech Republic. Be sure to stay tuned for more tips and tricks just like this one.